Yeah, I asked my parents because um, the thing is, like, I think I got my I don't believe in ghosts vibe from my dad. Yeah. Because my, I, I, like, I feel like a lot of my similarities are from my dad in that way because he's, yeah. he's a very skeptical kind of sciencey guy yeah. like that. And I remember I was on holiday with my parents last year when I went to Sicily. Mm -hmm. And it was like two o'clock in the morning and my brother had gone to sleep. Yeah. And we were just, and then I just decided to ask them, I was like, Mom, Dad, do you believe in ghosts and the paranormal? And I was like, well, do you believe in aliens? And my mum and dad were like, well, yeah, but there's probably other life in the universe. And yeah. I was like, well, what about ghosts? And they were like, yes. And I was what? like, um, yes. excuse me. And then my, my dad was literally just like, yes. And I was like, well, why? And he was like, well, weird things have happened. And I was just like, okay, I don't know. And okay, well, one of the things, apparently, this is a story my dad told me. My dad um, lived briefly in Vietnam because right. he was, his dad, my, my granddad was in the RAF. So they moved around with my granddad as he was put in different RAF posts around the world. Okay. So they all moved to um, Vietnam. This is only for like a year. Yeah. And there was like a rice field outside the house. And like my brother and his uncle Christopher used to have bedrooms that looked out onto the field together. Yeah. And they said that during one winter, it would be really, really foggy. Mm -hmm. And they looked out the window and there was just a dog just like staring at them. A ghost I mean, dog? there's no, there's, there's, there's dogs everywhere. Okay. And, you know, just like packs of dogs that yeah. are like wild dogs. But there was just this black dog that was just staring at them. Like, even Ooh. though they're on the second floor, there was just this dog that was staring at them. And it just used to sit there for like 20 minutes, but it used to like run away whenever they went outside. Yeah. And like, it used to come back, like, I think it was like every Tuesday or something specifically. So I don't know why, like whoever owned the dog let it out or something, but yeah. the dog just used to um, like wait outside every Tuesday and just sit right in the middle of this field, just staring up at them. And then one, this went on for like a month or something. But then it was like a random night when their parents weren't there yeah. and they heard growling outside the back door and then the dog was just sat right outside their porch. Then they didn't want to open it because they get like rabies or something. Mm -hmm. But my dad opened the door for a bit and then the dog just started barking like crazy. Like it didn't come in the house. But this dog just started barking at them. Like yeah. it was, it was, it was like it had gone like a crazy rabid dog. So my my dad and my uncle were just freaked out as kids because there was this crazy dog that was just barking and barking and barking. And they said mm -hmm. that it did it for like twenty minutes, and it just wasn't there anymore. Ooh. Um. And then, it, well, then it left, and yeah. then their parents came back, and they were like, "Well, it was obviously just a stray dog. Don't open the door to it. It could bite you or something like that." And then that night they heard like howling yeah. in the night. And they woke up, and the next Tuesday, the dog was dead in the middle of the field. Oh. They said that they just they just looked outside the window, and the dog was just dead in the middle of the field. Oh, that's scary. Yeah. But then um, they asked some woman, and apparently the dog was owned by the guy that used to live in the house. Right. So the dog used to come back to the house oh. because that's where his owner lived. So obviously, like, the guy died, and because it was in Vietnam, it wasn't very organized, yeah. so the dog was just let go, and he used to come back to the house. Yeah. And then the dog was just dead, but it was in exactly the same place that that's it would always so be. so weird. Yeah. And they said that they were just, like, freaked out. They said that the weird thing was that they just look out their window at night, mm. and then this dog would just be sat there staring up. Oh. Like, it's not just a dog. It was just, ima imagine looking out your window into a cornfield, or rice field, whatever it is, and then just yeah. seeing a dog looking up at you, and I just, I'd be like, okay, I think like y'all needs to go. To, <laughs> I'm calling the the pound people. Looking out my window at a cornfield would be scary enough. Yeah, I've seen too many. Never signs. mind a, a freaky black dog that would go yeah. mental and then suddenly die. No, no. Fortunately, he then moved back to England, <laughs> where there were less freaky dogs. But yeah.